Hello everyone, today I am Ace Marik welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you light effect and the portrait photo editing. Ok, I am just downloaded uh, photos and I am selecting this photo for editing. I am just opening it up and I will give you the download link of this photo. Ok, don't worry, uh, let's start the editing. At first, pressing ctrl J and you can get another new layer ok after that make another two copies one is B burn B for dodge ok dodge burn apply I will apply here after that I will edit another copies ok uh, select the B layer go to the blending mode in skin and blending options just select here and just slide at this one and highlighted area you will get and press the alter button it will divide and add just with the light and hit the ok button you can edit uh, press over there and you can just uh, add like that ok ok that's good and hit the ok button after that mask this one and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button after that select this D layer the dodge options and make it multiply and go to the blending options and slide at this slider and uh, shadow areas press the alter button it will divide and adjust the shadow with that and hit the ok button after that making it mask go to the image and apply image and in this case make it invert and hit ok and select these two layers make it group and make it mask after make it mask and go to the image and apply image uncheck the invert option and hit the ok you'll get subtle change the highlighted area of the face and shadow area of the face you'll get permanently ok uh, select this two layer make it group and giving the db dodge burn dodge burn group and make it match by pressing ctrl shift alter e for that go to the filter and the camera filter after going camera filter uh, i will do correction of color this photo and after that i will edit uh, mm, uh, this one like <coughs> light flare actually uh, that will make your photo more cool in this camera filter uh, I will just do just making it fit with the skin and the highlighted the how much uh, you will de highlight press the alter button and slide the slider when you are getting dot just leave it and uh, add some shadows like that okay and uh, press the alter button and whites when you are getting dots in a skin just leave it and when you are getting dots in a skin you have to leave it like that okay the shadow highlight and the blacks whites all is good to make the clarity five percent and saturation variance five percent and the saturation minus five percent and after that go to the camera calibration and use the hue of the primary blue you can adjust with that i will make like that okay add some just saturation and the face is too much in the red that's why i will adjust the primary red color like that Okay, and desaturate the red color okay that's good and primary green you can make it like that okay that's good okay go to the HSL uh, I'll reduce the saturation of orange and add some luminance of orange go to the saturation of red increase the saturation of red a little bit luminance of red just reduce okay that's good and saturation aqua I will reduce uh, for this jacket is too much aqua that's why I'm making it black and add some blue like that a little bit 
luminance of aqua i'll reduce and the luminance of blue, blue actually i'll reduce and after that go to the vignette actually effects add some vignetting a little bit from the side and adjust with that that's good highlight it a little bit okay uh, dehaze or haze options i will make it dehaze okay that's good and hit the ok button we got new change over there uh, it's a nice color effect actually uh, a previous one and the present one okay after that take a new blank layer and zoom in by pressing ctrl alter and scroll the mouse and press the d for reset the color swatch foreground and background color make it white and go to the brush here is a brush tools and select the brush this one hardness 0% and 300 pixel of the brush size and hit the ok button decrease the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and press once over there and press once over there before do that please check the opacity uh, it will 100% and flow 100% after that make it the overlay okay that's good the previous one and a present one okay after that select these two layer making it group making it merge after making it merge go to the filter actually file then place embedded from the place embedded options i have some lights collection and select these lights set this light in a corner of the photo make it you can make it bigger but uh, I'll just make it like that and make it like that that's good and setting it on a corner and hit the ok button after doing that go to the blending mode scheme okay. you can rotate the light uh, before that restylize this one press ctrl T Ctrl T for transform. Select this layer, press Ctrl T, and you can adjust the light like that. And hit the OK button. But uh, here is some uh, just lines that's not necessary. Uh, uh, this one is odd for that okay select this layer that is the light layer and go to the filter and the blur options and make it gaussian blur and flow like that and hit the ok button yes the light edit before that and after that you can adjust the light from here okay that's good actually cover up the full body okay select these two layers making it group make it merge by pressing ctrl shift alter e and now i'll go to the filter and google nick collection color effects pro 4 the color effects pro 4 this one is plugins and i'll add some filters over there and it is loading then uh, i'll choose the filters from the right side it's loading actually uh, after loaded this one i'll work with it okay uh, if your pc configuration is not too high so don't use these plugins uh, i'll suggest you to update your pc for use these plugins or uh, you can turn off many kinds of program those who are unnecessary and then you should use these plugins uh, otherwise your pc will work in a slow process our uh, i'm using the cross balance uh, cross processing actually uh, from the cross processing uh, you will get some filters that will make your photo more amazing this one is good.
I'll use this one C04 or you can try other filters those are amazing actually this one this one or other one you can try your filter to work properly okay I'll use this one C04 okay and hit the ok button after doing that uh, it will take time to process or load or prepare the image for your just uh, editing panel and this one is also take time to load okay let's wait for it saving the image and it will get a new color good it's changed uh, this one was the previous one okay let's see the changes uh, the the just unedited one which I downloaded from the internet the dodge burn applying after dodge burn and after do color correction and I'm giving the uh, layer name color correction after that uh, added a light effect if you rename the folder then uh, in future use you will get uh, more better uh, just uh, advantage from there you can locate actually which layer or uh, which folder is working for what okay after that you are getting this one and applying that touch actually the cross processing in, in the just uh, filter you will get in this one okay just select these two layers and i am giving uh, nick the name of this folder nick and make it group after just make it match by pressing ctrl shift alter e and after that go to the control panel actually and just make the adjustment from the adjustment layer you will get the color lookup and horror blue color after applying horror blue color just make the opposite down and make it 20 percent and make the flow like that that's good and make it group make it march after making it march go to the adjustment layer and go to the curve some from the curve just place a point over there and make it like that and hit the ok uh, you can adjust this one select these two layers make it group make it merge ok let's see what was the previous one this one is the group which is for the color lookup make the color lookup and after that the curves curves and after that you will getting this result okay now uh, but uh, in this image you are missing the sharpness that's why I'll go to the filter again and camera raw filter and from the camera filter I'll go to the sharpen add some amount of sharpen and add some luminance of noise reducer luminance of contrast and color a little bit and from the basic options can just make it like that minus three percent and add and add some clear to three percent and hit the ok button you'll get a better result from the previous okay okay our final image final output Okay, this one is a technique to now organize your work uh, otherwise uh, it will be messy and I'm saving this one uh, giving the name the light effect okay hit the ok button after saving this one don't forget to just save it in a jpg mode I am using photoshop creative cloud 2017 you can uh, whatever version you are using 
please do this one at first you should you know, just save your document in a PSD format after that uh, you should make it JPEG okay for the JPEG you go to the file and save as option and just click over there the pop-up menu and JPEG and make it just save and here you can get some size of the file uh, my size is 22 megabytes and you can control the quality high quality it will show you the size okay the maximum maximum is the 8 point and i'm giving the make more than maximum and it will buy 22.8 can hit the ok button okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section or don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and if you want to connect with me please just add me on your facebook twitter or instagram you can follow me or you can just text me over there till the next video i am asimarif signing out and bye bye Thank you.